to unlock Forge, go to your Steam library and go to home. Now locate Halo the Master Chief Collection, right click it, and head to properties. A new window should pop up, and you want to be sure that you're in the local files tab. Click browse local files. Now head to the following directory. Go to MCC, content, packs, and you're going to see the file mcc-windowsnoeditor.pack. This is the file that we're going to want to edit. Simply right click the file, go to open with, and now we're going to need to locate hex editor. If you do not already have hex editor installed or downloaded, I will provide a link in the description. Now go ahead and hit control G on your keyboard and paste in this offset that I will have in the link's description. Now go ahead and press OK, and your cursor should take you to 0012. Type in 27 next to the 12. Now do the same thing, hit Ctrl G, and go to this new offset that I will once again have in the description, and it will take you to this position here. Go ahead and type in 27 again. Now go ahead and hit save or Ctrl S, whatever you want to do, and that's it. Now Forge is unlocked, and the logical statements are in place. Now you're free to go back to your Steam library and run Master Chief Collection. Keep in mind, you can actually play Forge with Anti-Cheat enabled, it's just that you can't have any modded maps in your maps folder. Now when you run Halo Reach Master Chief Collection, you should see a Create tab. I also advise using an Xbox controller that you can plug into your PC, as the controls are kinda weird and I'd suggest that using the D-pad is a lot better. Feel free to load up any map that you want, and start forging away. It's actually pretty unbelievable that this forge works hardly without any issues at all. I haven't actually tried Forge with any other maps, but if it works for Forge World, I'm pretty sure you could guess. And that's not even the best part. Like I said, feel free to create any kind of map you want, but now, you can actually save your map as a new variant and play it with your friends on Steam. Forge is a pretty powerful resource, and I'd suggest using it whenever means necessary. Now when you go into the custom games lobby, you will find that the map that you created is in the list of the Forge World maps. Well now you know how to mod your file and get Forge into Halo Reach MCC early without having to wait for them to update it. This is pretty exciting. I can't wait to see what future mods I'm going to do with this, and if you haven't already heard, I'm thinking of porting my old Snow Slayer mod into Halo Reach MCC for playing online. I think it would be pretty neat to do the old, nice, toasty mods that were done on Xbox into Halo Reach MCC. To put it short, Snow Slayer was one of my best and proud mods that have been created on Xbox. The map actually got over 13,000 page views on Xbox Chaos and I was pretty overwhelmed with how happy everybody was about it. Looking back and the more and more I think about it, I think it'd be pretty neat to port it over to Halo Reach MCC. So if there isn't an option to patch it to the new format that they release, I wouldn't mind going through every single value and replicating it just the way that it is. Anyways, have a good week guys with the new forge you just unlocked. Also, be giving me some suggestions on what I can do with the new Halo Reach MCC that's been released. I can't wait to throw out there some more mods, tips, and tutorials. Well, that's it for this video. I have been and still am Xephercraft, guys. Have a good night. See you later.